Continuing our series of lessons on learning iMovie, we're now going to learn how to key a shot. Keying, isn't that something they do in Hollywood? Where they... It sure is. So they have like actors on sets with big green backgrounds? Yeah. But you can do it too. In iMovie? In iMovie. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. With iMovie, it's easy to combine a clip of a subject shot in front of a green or blue screen with a background. Your background could be a photo, graphic, or a video clip. In addition to your own media, iMovie contains a variety of backgrounds to choose from. In the content library, select Maps and Backgrounds. Scroll down to the background section and skim a few to preview them. Some are animated and some are still images. Let's use this one called Underwater. We'll drag it to a new empty project. If I select this event, you can see it contains a video clip of a young woman standing in front of a green wall. This is called a green screen shot. She was shot in this manner so that the green color could be removed and replaced with something else. This process is called keying. The colors that are easiest to remove are usually green or blue. The more evenly lit the background color is, the easier it will be to remove it. As you can see, this background was not lit very evenly. It has a bright hotspot in the middle and dark corners. To key a shot in iMovie, you first add it to your project as a connected clip over a background clip. So, I'll double click it to select the entire clip and then drag it over this underwater clip here. The background clip is shorter, so let's trim it to match the connected clip. Next, let's double click the connected clip to open the adjustment bar. Here we can see that the Video Overlay Settings button is selected and the Video Overlay Style is set to Cutaway. Let's change the Video Overlay Style to Green Blue Screen. Immediately the green background disappears or is keyed out and we see the clip beneath. Now, depending on how evenly your green screen was lit and how close the subject was to the green background, some of the background may not be removed automatically. You use these tools to improve the key. Drag the softness slider. Dragging to the right softens the key, but going too far starts to make the subject transparent. Dragging left brings in more hair detail, but also brings back some of the background. Notice the dark areas in the bottom corners and near her hair. Try to find a good middle ground. You can crop the clip to focus the key on just the area around the subject, which can make it easier to improve. Drag the right crop handles over and closer to the subject, and the top handles down. Now it's clear that the background is still not fully removed. Select the eraser, then click and drag in these dirty areas making sure to avoid touching the subject. If you do accidentally, just start again. There, that's much better. Let's play that back. You can see how easy it is to key a shot in iMovie using the green blue screen video overlay style applied to a connected clip, even on less than ideal green screen shots. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to enhance your video and apply effects.